31st of July, and I have still not done a five things video, which is just deplorable considering I run a site called geekforce5.com. So here are my five things. Bought an iPhone. I know you know that because I brought it up on one of the previous, uh, previous things, uh, previous videos, so I'm trying to think of exactly what it is that's new about the iPhone. Um, what you may not know, unless you follow me on Twitter, check out my really cool, I don't know if you can see that, I love my wife and daughter, um, and they're my background. Uh, what you may not know, unless you follow me on Twitter, is that I'm having a real crisis about whether or not to get a case for the iPhone. I bought a case for my iPod four years ago that I used once and put away and never used again. Um, and this thing just feels so good, just holding it like this that I'm not really sure that I want a case for it. I know that a case might be a good idea, but it's gonna add bulk, and uh, I just, I don't know if I can do it. So that's my first thing, uh, that I have an iPhone, but I may be one of those crazy people that just doesn't get a case. Um, the second thing, second thing, second thing. Uh, you may know that I am working on a novel, uh, that I've published a few pieces here and there, mostly nonfiction articles uh, in the publications that I that uh, are put out by the place that I work. Uh, what you may not know is that my very first publication was in 1992 when I was, I can't do the math, 77, 92, 15, I, I don't know. My very first publication in 1992 was a comic book called Blood Red. I actually sold these at the local comic book store, or tried to sell them, would probably be more accurate. Uh, they had a dollar, uh, the first issue had a dollar cover price. Uh, the remaining ones were 50 cents, I think. And it had, I suppose, <laughs> a small following. There are people who still remember this this comic book. It's, it's very odd, but they do. Um, I have a list. I have a list to remind myself. Um, number three, I saw uh, Brandis admit that she has never seen the Back to the Future movies. And in the comments, I said that there was a movie I have seen that was probably just as ridiculous that, that I hadn't seen it. I have never seen The Princess Bride. Never. Never seen it. And I don't plan to. That's the other part. Uh, it is my unholy quest to be the one person on the planet who has never seen The Princess Bride. When the apocalypse comes, I'll be that, uh, I'll be that dude. Never seen it. Um, uh, fourth thing. I have read the Harry Potter series, however many there were at that time, every summer, or thereabouts, every year at least, but usually every summer, since 2001, except this summer, and that's really depressing to me. I just haven't found the time to do it, and August is tomorrow, and I'm just not sure I'm going to find the time to do it, so that's kind of sad. Um, but I have read Harry Potter, the entire series, whatever was available at that point, every summer since 2001. Um, and the last thing, uh, I don't want to end on a downer. This is just, I mean, it's kind of a downer, but it's, it's also just kind of something ridiculous. My college, my alma mater, where I did my bachelor's degree, Bradford College, no longer exists. It was closed for financial reasons one year after I graduated in the year 2000. Uh, some suspect embezzling, um, God knows what else. But my college doesn't exist anymore, and that makes it really odd to be an alum of Bradford. Uh, in a number of ways, not the least of which is it's impossible to get your school recognized on things like MySpace or Facebook or whatever as a school. You can't set it up as the place that you went. Um, you have to set it up as a group of, uh, of the Alumni Association or, or whatever. So it's, it's a very interesting, very interesting thing, and it, it'll make for tons of great stories um, as I f get further away from it. I mean, even even now, about eight years later, it, it stings a little bit less, but 
against those things. Those are my five things. And uh, thank you to everyone else for sharing theirs. It's been, uh, it's been fun to watch.